All right, Sebastian Ajo has been, you've been around the world, but I don't think you've been this far up the street, have you? I mean, I've uh, I've definitely been up here. I remember uh, those cold years uh, when I got here early. I was uh, doing a little jogging and running yeah. around the area. So The I, hill's a good hill for that. Yeah, I've, uh, I passed his house, for sure. Okay. It's been an eventful summer for you. The contract was on deck. I know Tom Dundon said from the jump, he told us that this was something he wanted to happen. So how did those conversations go in the summertime? How quick did this come together? Yeah, I mean, not to, uh, I mean, it was actually pretty quick after the, we were done playing. And uh, yeah, it just took some time to get all the details and everything. But I mean, obviously they wanted to me stay here long term and I wanted to stay here for long term. So uh, yeah, it, it was a uh, somewhat easy negotiation, but obviously it's eight years, right? So a lot goes into it. So it, it just took uh, a little while to get everything done. That was actually the word I was going to use. Easy. Was that? That was actually the word I was going to use. Easy. Yeah. I mean, it, particularly compared to the last one. Why do you think this one went so smoothly? I mean, I've already been here for seven years. I know, you know, their organization and Raleigh and everything here pretty well now and obviously they know me and what they get from me and and obviously uh uh hopefully i have uh, another gear or two to uh improve my game uh which i think i do have it but uh yeah obviously there's probably not a lot of surprises what they uh get me fr from me tom said that the last time it would have no effect the negotiation from last time with montreal and the offer sheet and all that other stuff he was confident that would have no effect on on this time because it's business is that something that you learned the last time around? Yeah, I mean, it was just completely different um, situation, obviously. Uh, yeah, it didn't affect either way, which is, would, I mean, they're professionals too, right? You know, they they run pretty big uh, business here, and obviously they've done a really good job so far to, uh, you know, building the franchise and, and you know, building a team that uh, is a competitor every year, and we're contending to win a cup, right? So... As a player, it's a great place to be to, you know, to be in an organization that really wants to win and are willing to, you know, do the work and put the money into to, uh, to at least have a chance. When you when you talked about the years, you talked about, you know, what else you can do, what else you're capable of. What was the assessment this offseason when you're thinking about, all right, how do I take my game to the next level on the ice? What are you thinking about? I mean, I still think I'm... Uh, you know, physically, I can take uh, steps and be stronger, faster, um, all that stuff. So uh, in the off season, you work, it's kind of a boring answer, but you work on any, everything, right? You try to, you know, lift more. You're mm -hmm. going to try to, you know, run faster, skate faster, jump higher, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a few uh, few things, especially on the ice. I, uh, I've been trying to last couple of years to to improve you know my shot and thinking where I'm usually taking those shots when I'm scoring goals and mm -hmm. all that stuff so obviously seven years in the league they know that a lot of uh, a lot of my goals are kind of like similar and where I'm shooting the most so so there's you know just trying to improve th those areas and obviously maybe something that I'm not as good as uh, good at so I'm just trying to improve on those things too. You said it's a boring answer. I mean, it kind of. Yeah. So how do you how do you how do you mentally you say it's a boring answer, which makes me wonder: Is there like a how do you push through? Like, all right, I got to do this again. I got to do this workout again. I got to get back on the ice again. How do you push through that it's after this many years of doing it? Honestly, you know, ending a season like that, uh, somebody else puts end the end of your season. Mm -hmm. It's not really hard to find the motivation to go go to the gym and. You don't want to end the season like that. Obviously, it's uh, you want to win uh, every year. It's tough in this league. There's a lot of good teams, and pretty much every every team has a chance to to do it. So, but yeah, just as uh, as an athlete, as a hockey player, you you know start thinking what I, uh, I could have done better and and stuff like that. So yeah, it it, it definitely hurt and kind of gave me uh, a lot of fuel to go to the gym and and use that as a as a weapon. Seven years. It, I mean, are you an old 26 or a young 26? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> oh, you look amazing. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, it's, uh, time flies. It really feels like it was, uh, like yesterday when I, 
first got here, but um, yeah, I guess uh, when the older guys tell, uh, a lot of times they tell me that you gotta try to enjoy the moment and try try to enjoy the the whole career when when it lasts because it, it ends pretty quickly. So yeah, you've been here seven years. You've got your finished crew, but what have you found in in the triangle? Have you found a taste of home? Have you found a place to go eat? Have you found somebody at the UNC or NC State who speaks, who teaches Finnish? What <laughs> What mean, have you done to try to find a, a little bit of home? No, I mean, it definitely feels uh, feels like home to me. Uh, I always loved living here. Um, yeah, I, I do have uh, my go-to restaurants and, and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it, it... But is it Finnish? What's that? Or is it from Finland? Is it Finnish? No, it's no. Not, no, no, not Finnish. No. Is there a Finnish restaurant around here? There's no, no Finnish restaurant. No, no, no. But there's some fin- uh, Finns around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few years ago, they actually a lot of them came to to our, one of our games, and yeah, I kind of surprised how many f- people from Finland actually live. Is there here. such a thing as good Finnish food? Oh yeah, yeah, big time. Fish? What is it? Fish? Yeah, sam. Uh, actually, it's called salmon soup. It's kinda, okay. It's, <laughs> sounds sounds kind of weird. Uh, tastes delicious. It's uh, I'm a one. My favorite food. Now, do you make it? I was say, do you cook? Uh, it feels I, like a I, no. I, I, no. I could, I could make it, but it's, it wouldn't, you know, when mom cooks it, it's, uh, okay. it's just way more uh, perfect. What have you adopted that's local, like sweet tea or barbecue? Yeah, or... I do like barbecue. We do that some, uh, a lot of back home too. So, mm, I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, I, I do like, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here too. So yeah, it, I, it wasn't too much of an issue to get settled here. Okay. So you talked about you know, young twenty six versus old twenty six. With that contract, though, I got to imagine with the length of the contract and as you as you as you have elevated your game, there's a leadership expectation that comes out of this too. This idea that you take over this team, this will be your team going forward. Do you have conversations with Jordan Stahl? about that do you talk to rod and jordan about just what that room is like and the voices in the room yeah i mean look at that b uh, yeah, uh, yeah we're doing this outside if you're listening yeah. on the podcast <laughs> sebastian who lives up the street i was like rather than going to the arena xyz <laughs> just walk down the street we'll have everything set up no this to go. is great this is great but the um, bees the bees i'm a little worried about the bees but we're good we're good uh um, don't get me no, they won't get you where were we oh uh, yeah oh, leadership. Leader, leadership yeah leadership. i think that's just more natural thing obviously uh it's obviously I, I get the look uh, Jordan Stahl very closely. I sit next to him in in the locker room. Uh, I was able to look up Justin Williams. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Roddy himself, uh, kind of a ultimate leader. I would say. I just try to learn from each guy, and actually every every player that there's in the locker room and in, in the in the team to, you know, what could I, you know, learn from them and 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 stuff like that. And obviously my English got, it's got better. <laughs> so I, I can, you know, have a conversation in the locker room and all yeah. that stuff, which, help, which helps okay. a lot, yeah. obviously. So, uh, but yeah, I think it's more of a natural thing. It, it, I think you, you can't really, uh, force it. It's just, I think, and I, I do think that over, over the past uh, years, I've, I've taken some more, uh, leadership in the, in the, on the ice and the off, off the ice. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully there's more to come on that too. Was it difficult to learn all the curse words in English? No, they are probably the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> you heard those ones the most on the ice? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Depends how we play. So, do you swear people out in Finnish or English? Uh, I, actually, on the ice. On, you know, on, the, on the, the ice. On the ice. On the ice. I think, uh, as of now, it's a 50-50. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... Both, yeah. If you know them, maybe you give it. Yeah, I mean. In Finnish, if if they know it, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because you want them to know what you're saying. (laughs) I don't know. I think usually in the game, you're just so, you're just in the moment. So you don't really think what you say and what you (laughs) yell or whatever. So it just, I think it's more more English now than it was seven years ago. But (laughs) uh, yeah, I'd say 50-50. Would you curse out the other Sebastian Ajo in Finnish or English? Well, he doesn't speak Finnish, so Uh-oh. <laughs> it leaves me English, right? Gotta get him in English. Would, Gotta get him in the English, okay. Yeah, but I try not to do that. Who chirps the most on the team? Chirps the most on the team. That's a great question. It's not you. No. No, no, no. I don't know. 
know if uh, oh we got this uh, new guy Lemieux. He's uh, uh, he has a he <laughs> definitely has an edge in this game, and, okay. and uh, he can he can throw a chirp or two in the. In the oh, game. It's interesting. Okay, it's interesting you bring that up because the NHL and professional hockey in general, professional sports is things can get pretty chippy on the ice or your competitors. You want to beat the other guy. Guys have reputations. As you said, this Lemieux, you know, Hey, this Lemieux guy's bringing something to the table. How do you, how do you kind of push past that? Or if you understand that's the game, Hey, when we're on the ice and we're competing, that's what it is. But now that you're on my squad, Hey, we'll make this work. Is that something that goes, is that something that gets discussed or is it just an understanding? I mean, it's just understanding. It's just understanding. Everyone okay. knows. It's just, it's just a part of the game. It, things can get heated. You know, everyone, uh, you know, it's so intense out there. So, and it's a part of the game too. So yeah, there's no, I mean, obviously, usually those guys who, you know, play that are the toughest guys to play and are kind of like annoying on the ice. They might yeah. be the, you know, most likable guys in the, in the locker room. Right. Okay. So it's kind of, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, I, everyone knows. I don't think there's anything to discuss. Some guys don't let it go, though. I mean, there was one player that was wearing a bracelet in this offseason <laughs> with uh, Kane Suck, I believe, is what the, uh, the yeah, bracelet I said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know the story behind it. But, yeah. yeah. Well, you'll see him in the playoffs again. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, you always every see him in the playoffs, right? <laughs> and so far, what's, what is it, three years? Three in a row. Three in a row. <laughs> it's three in a row. I think there was an interview that uh, Natchez had done where that topic was brought up and he just, was, I think the same kind of attitude is like, hey, shoulder shrug. I guess that's the attitude you have to take to these types of things. Just kind of yeah, like, I mean, okay. I, I don't really have, well, like I said, I don't know the story. I don't know what's, what, what was. Yeah, I just apparently. Saw the, the, I just had a picture and I, I, I understand like, you know, fans like to, you know, get involved in Twitter and all that stuff too. The comment and stuff like that, but yeah, it doesn't really. <laughs> to me, it's, I, I don't really. You don't think about it. No, not at all. Not a thing. This yeah. is not a thing you worry about. Yeah, no. All right. So, uh, when you go back home, you're not always working out. So, what do you do back in Finland to get the home before you come back? Is it like a restaurant? Is it a hangout spot? Is it Mulki. Mulki. <laughs> oh, is that how you pronounce it? That's it. it. Mulki. Yeah. Mulki. Okay. Yeah, we got no chance at that. <laughs> no chance. So the way, so this, I, look, sometimes you see things on the internet and you don't believe them, right? So our yeah. neighbors, Rick and Sabrina, we had gone out to a restaurant where you can literally tailgate. Yeah. Okay. So they brought the game and we had a good time. You know, we'd done some drinking and we're throwing the thing at the wood pegs and whatnot. And we were just having this debate. It's like, it was sold as the, the world's famous Finnish game or whatever it is. We didn't think that was real, but that's, this is a real thing. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, do, I do have it actually. Oh, you have it? Yeah, at uh, my summer place. Oh, I'm glad okay. we did not bet on this game of mule key before we played it. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, us. I know you don't have it here because I haven't seen you in the front yard playing. So, no, I don't have it here. No. Typically, you're doing the uh, you're doing the table tennis. You saw the table tennis? Yeah, table tennis. Yeah. Who's the Who's the one that actually is the worst? Like, if you beat them, they actually take it like personally. Which team? Uh well, I well, I gotta say, me and uh, me and Turbo. Caravan. You guys we, go back and forth. Right? Yeah, exactly. So we, we're very uh, even. Okay. And they, you know, the matches can go uh, get a little heated because you know we played ton against each other, and uh, actually, it's fun. Okay. Yeah. Turbo doesn't pay rent, does he? He's there all the time. <laughs> yeah. You gotta start. Rent. You gotta start charging him rent, man. Or at least it gets settled with the uh, with the table tennis. <laughs> so, when's the last time you tailgated? Tailgated. Uh, have you tailgated? I have. Yes. Um, I think it was last year before the NC State game. Okay. We went there as a team. Yeah, it was last year. Joe, yeah. do you want to try this game? Um, I do, but I, I'm... So I'm 48, and there's a million things I would love to say to 26-year-old Joe. <laughs> You're 26. What would, you, what would you love to tell 18-year-old Sebastian? Like, hey, man, you're going to need to know this. You would love to know this right now. Oh, that's a great question. I mean, there's probably a lot of things that I would say. I don't know. I'm, You'll be sitting in the woods with two dipshits in, in seven years. <laughs> yeah, avoid this Don't one. do that. Mental yeah. note. So yeah. when, when Mike Brown says, hey, so the guys from that podcast want you to walk down the street and do this interview, you're going to go, no, they, I'm good on that. They're going to need you to that do would, some yeah, finished swearing, good. too, so we could use it on the, uh, on the internet. Yeah. No, I mean... <laughs> There's plenty of things. Probably just, but 
I don't know. Just the, you know, be happy, work hard. Uh, the usual, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff you could say, but uh, I think I'd like to think more of the, in the, what comes to next and what's, what's here now in the, in the present moment. So, yeah. You ready for another stadium series game? Yeah. I mean, yeah, every day. Yeah. Always. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that the lead up was pretty incredible. And I know that, you know, we, we had talked about it after the game and, but what was kind of amazing to me is you have this huge game that, that, that all the build up power through, you actually win the game. You had to play like the next night or like two nights later. Yeah. And you're coming off this emotional high. Yeah, that's like, NHL right there. Right, right? Yeah. It's just like on to the next thing. Like, cool, yeah. you did this awesome event. Everybody loves you. It was this thing that everybody's going to remember. Yeah. Cool, now go back out there and do it again. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of the league. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, win or lose, play bad or good, you just have to, you know, reset yourself yep. and do it again. So you're, you'll get plenty of uh, chances to, you know, redeem yourself and, yeah, I mean that that obviously that was a huge win for us. Obviously, the home crowd it was mm. it was nuts, but um, yeah, I that's pretty uh, that that's normal. I mean, we we just have to keep going. It doesn't, you know, that, at the same time that was just the one game mm -hmm. in the middle of the season, right? You so you can't really sit there and take it in for what it is, but then yeah. understand you got to move yeah. on. The next I mean, thing. you can enjoy the night after it. Yeah, the next day comes and you. Uh, you focus in the next one. All right. Sebastian. Yeah, I never know. Last one. I never know to ever ask. You said normal, right? I don't know if you should talk about injuries or not talk about injuries, but would you just like to have a normal year where you have your whole team and it's what it looks like on paper and you actually get a chance to, to see everybody instead of having to scramble as you guys have perfected, right? Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, would it be just be nice to have some sort of yeah, normal I mean, year? <laughs> Uh, obviously everyone wants to stay healthy and you know for for example last year we lost some great players and, yeah and just you know it hurts for them you know see just you know you work for all year you play you grind through the regular season and then you know kind of ends like just before the the best part of it playoffs obviously so so uh yeah that's very unfortunate for the team but uh, especially the guy who, uh, well, let's say, sweats in Pacioretty last year, it was uh, it definitely hurt hurt us. And uh, but yeah, hopefully uh, we'll stay healthy. Yeah, I don't know. Is is it good to talk about it? Bad to talk about it? I mean, I'm 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 both you, knocked, ways, man. you knocked on the composite I'm wood, so I'm you're good. in both ways. I mean, like I you just ignore it, but it's yeah. like, man, we talked about it with Rowdy, and he was like, yeah, you. That's what that's what I'm trying to tell people. Like, we would like an actual kick at this thing as the full group. Because yeah. I feel like in all of Roddy's years, that, that hasn't happened, particularly in the postseason. You know, it's like always yeah. one or two guys that you're like, oh, but that's what we need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. And your question, I don't usually like to talk about it. The injuries. No, the injuries I know. Are, I just, some people but, are different. I just, but, yeah. One of, heck, yeah. I'm sure Aaron Rodgers would love to talk about injuries now if he didn't before. Yeah. Right? Yeah, well, just, yeah. Get it all out there in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, we appreciate you walking up the street and spending some time with us. The season's right around the corner. Give him his gift on camera. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, here you go. So we, uh, you guys, like, had I still don't know who these guys are. Yeah, I know. You, bar you barely see us at this point in time, but we, we're going to give you a, an yeah. Ovi's and Gilio hoodie. Uh, it's the ice caps, the ice caps logo in inspired thing. Thank you so much. So yeah. uh, we appreciate, appreciate you coming it. by. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll see you wearing it. Maybe we don't. I have no idea. By the way, you're home for Halloween, right? I have no. I looked at the schedule. You guys <laughs> have like a break. Okay. So are you going to do the mistake of leaving the candy out there with no supervision? You know what happens, right? In <laughs> yeah. this neighborhood. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Like, it actually happened to me before. So lesson, I'm lesson probably learned. most likely going to do the same mistake. <laughs> uh, I doubt that I'm going to spend my Halloween at my house. So Well, because that happened one time. and I Give believe it to the neighbor to hand out. The, yeah. there's, there's that. But I remember there was a Halloween where once people figured it out, everybody was coming up for pictures. My kid included. So, which we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Sebastian, thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks for having, having me.